Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to do a quick review of the FAP dam, which is the Copernicus dam with forests and buildings removed. And um, I'm going to compare it with SRTM in terms of performance for stream and catchment delineation. On this website you can download the data, it comes in uh, zip files. And I'm going to download the DM for the Ruhr catchment. And here you can find all the metadata. And you can see from the license that you can use this for non-commercial use. Click on the URL to download the zip file and then extract from the zip file um, the one degree DEM tiles that you need. So I have here four SRTM tiles and four FABDEM tiles and I'm going to mosaic them into one raster that covers the study area for which we are going to do the test. So here first for the SRTM. Create a virtual layer. And I call it SRTM mosaic. I keep the data in the separate groups for SRTM and FAPDEM so we can easily compare them. Do the same for the FAPDEM. And let's call this one FAPDEM mosaic. Now let's compare these DEMs by subtracting them with the raster calculator. going to do SRTM minus FABDEM and I create an on-the-fly raster layer which I call difference SRTM FABDEM. Here's the result, let's uh, drag it to the top and let's style it to uh, interpret the result. And here we see um, that there are some big patches here where there are big differences, both positive and negative. But also other areas have uh, differences, which become more visible if I stretch the colors to uh, those areas. And let's add an OpenStreetMap layer to see where those differences occur. And we would expect that to occur in uh, urban areas or in uh, forested areas. I'm going to multiply, use some blending, and there we can see that indeed the differences are mostly in the forested areas. Let's switch off the blending. Let's install the profile tool to check in profiles what the difference is between the two DEMs. Let's do that here for those mines. I'm going to add the layers. Give them different colors for the lines. And let's draw cross section. And there you can see the difference. Well, this difference can also be caused by the different DEM products that are the original ones, which uh, might have a different timestamp. So these mines, they move and they are not exactly at the same uh, location in both DEMs and that's also what you can see when there when there are some shifts. Until now we have used the uh, raw downloaded DEMs uh, but for further analysis we need to uh, project it. And I'm also going to clip it to a bounding box to make it a bit smaller. So here I'm going to export both uh, DEMs to UTM zone 32 north 
the study area and uh, take a boundary from the bounding box and fit to uh, square pixels of 30 meters. Before we continue with the analysis, let's have a closer look at this uh, difference raster again um, to see what value ranges are there. And we can do that with uh, plotting a histogram. And here you see that uh, the peak is uh, at zero, but it's uh, slightly skewed, which we can expect because the uh, FAPDAM is uh, corrected for uh, urban and uh, forests, which makes it uh, generally in some places some a uh, bit lower. And here we see the range, the minimum and maximum value of the difference. So there are quite large uh, differences. Now for the delineation of uh, streams and catchments, we're going to use the PC raster tools. So I'm going to import the DEMs to the PC raster format. In other videos, I explain how to use the PC Raster Tools plugin, how to install it. So now both DEMs are in the PC Raster format. The next step is to calculate for both the flow direction or the local drain direction map with the LDD Create tool. So let's calculate one for the FABDEM. and another one for the SRTM dam. Let's have a look at the results. And we see that uh, the SRTM has uh, much more uh, noise, while the FAP dam is uh, smoother. And let's use these flow direction maps then for the delineation of streams and the catchment. So to derive the rivers, I can use this uh, flow direction map and uh, the stream order tool. So let's calculate the strata orders for uh, the FAPDEM. And do the same for SRTM. Now with the stream orders, we can calculate the rivers by uh, using a threshold for Strahler. So I'm going to use the spatial tool to create a raster with only value 8 that I'm going to use as a threshold. So later I will calculate all the Strahler orders larger or equal than 8. Call it ordinal 8. And then I can use this in a condition, use the comparison operators, and as an input, I'll use the FAPSTRALER, large or equal than 8, and we save it to FAP River, and I do the same for the SRTM. So SRTM STRALER, large or equal than 8, change the name to SRTM River. And there's the result. Put it in the correct groups. Let's uh, compare the results. So I style it with palleted unique values. Remove the zeros. So we'll have in blue the SRTM river. And then for the FAPDEM, palleted unique values. And remove the zeros, and that's in red. And uh, let's compare it with a reference layer from uh, OpenStreetMap. So move this one to the bottom. And there's OpenStreetMap. And now we can compare. So let's zoom in and uh, see if these rivers uh, match with each other and with the background OpenStreetMap. And we see here in the natural area that uh, they're very close together, the blue and the red pixels. See here that uh, the red pixels uh, follow maybe better the sinuosity of the meanders there. 
Well, the blue pixels are a bit straight, but here's something strange. There's a gap. Uh, the line is not continuous there. It could be that there's a different uh, strata order there that has been filtered out, but that would be a bit strange. It looks like that it uh, generates another subcatchment here and did not really fill uh, that part to have a continuous uh, catchment there. We'll see what the effect of that is later when we calculate the catchment. Let's follow it further downstream and let's see what it does in these urban areas. And we see there that uh, the red line is uh, much closer to the channel in this part. Seems to pick up uh, some more streams that don't really look like that they are there. But here it uh, flows nicely, the stream that we can see on OpenStreetMap. Here we can also see that uh, the red line is better than the blue line. And let's have a look closer to the outlet. We see here that uh, the FAP dam catches nicely the Meuse River. But it's uh, disconnected there. So let's calculate the catchment of a pixel that is river in uh, both data sets. Copy the coordinate, add value 1, save this comma separated file, and then we use this to calculate uh, the catchment. But first we need to import this to the PC raster format using column file to PC raster map. Use a nominal here, could also use boolean or ordinal. And let's call it outlet. It's the same for both, so we don't need to distinguish between uh, FAP and SRTM. And we're going to use this outlet for calculating the catchment. So with the catchment tool, choose the FAPDEM LDD and the outlet to calculate the catchment for the FAPDEM. And the same for SRTM. Zoom to the layer and uh, we can now compare them. And there we see that uh, the northern part is uh, quite similar, but the southern part is uh, missing in the FAPDEM. So these discontinuities um, have an effect that it divides the root catchment into uh, two subcatchments, basically. And uh, need some further research why this is happening. And it looks like uh, the other subcatchment drains to that uh, mine. Let's uh, change the colors to better compare them. Change SRTM to uh, blue. And the FAPDEM catchment to red. And here we see the differences. So in this video we evaluated the FAPDEM and compared it to SRTM for hydrological applications. And I think from this analysis I can conclude that uh, FAPDEM delineates the streams better than uh, SRTM. Um, but for the catchment, we need to check it for uh, different circumstances. Uh, I think here the mine has a large impact on, uh, on the delineation of the catchment and divides it in, uh, in subcatchments. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive updates and uh, looking forward to see you again next time.